the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs brought vibrant energy to the Mikud community as it successfully celebrated Caribbean Wellness Day with a dynamic health fair at the Mikud Wellness Center on Friday, September 15, 2024. The health fair provided an invaluable opportunity for residents to take charge of their health by fostering a renewed sense of community wellness and vitality. Senior Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Dr. Shana Siri Filbert, highlighted the increasing burden of chronic non-communicable diseases on St. Lucia through the years. In St. Lucia in 2019, NCDs were responsible for most deaths. What do I mean by most? Approximately 82.1% of the deaths for the year. This figure has increased from the year 2000, almost 20 years ago, when an estimated 79.8% of deaths in St. Lucia were caused by those diseases. Chronic non-communicable diseases including diabetes, hypertension, stroke, heart attack, and mental disorders are closely tied to unhealthy diet, insufficient physical activity, tobacco smoking, and alcohol abuse. Addressing these health challenges requires a concerted effort from both the individuals and the health system. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Jenny Daniel, reiterated the Ministry's dedication to tackling chronic non-communicable diseases through community initiatives. The Ministry of Health fully endorses and commits to the approach as we, this approach as we continue on our journey towards a healthy population. And therefore, I invite your participation in our proceedings today. All of you would have received the cards indicating the services that are provided at this wellness center. And of course, the aim of the provision of all these services is to lead towards this goal where we have a reduction in NCDs and a healthier population. The health fair made a significant impact on the community as many students, residents, and visitors gained valuable insights into various methods of preventing and managing chronic non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and mental health disorders. Adding to the Ministry's call for proactive health measures, Honorable Moji Jabatist, Minister for Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, stressed the importance of community involvement. It is very important for us to celebrate Caribbean Wellness Day. It's important for us to recognize that activities such as this one help spread the word throughout the communities. And Brother Naam Jabati said something a while ago. The responsibility for spreading the work and the, and the word about wellness belongs to every single one of us. The government can do a lot. The government can put money into building wellness centers, health centers. The government can put money into providing all of the supplies and all of the services. But what we must do is we must try our very best not to be in a situation where we must come to the health center. We should come to the health center just to do our checks. We should go to the doctors just to do our checks every year or every six months, whatever the doctor or the nurses advise. Established in 2007 by CARICOM leaders, Caribbean Wellness Day serves as a reminder of the importance of making informed lifestyle choices and raising awareness about the significant challenges posed by chronic non-communicable diseases. To date, the annual event fosters a sense of empowerment with residents being encouraged to embrace the healthier habits and take control of their well-being through informed proactive choices. From the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Shivrai Marius.